The question is, is this a linear story? So it's a logical conclusion. You begin 13.8 billion years ago with the origin of the universe and you inevitably end up with Homo sapiens, smart, intelligent apes who are able to, to you know, do and achieve what we're able to achieve. Um, and it was a concern of mine in the way that I wanted to structure the book that, that that might come across as the message that you know certain inevitabilities physics chemistry biology all designed as it were to culminate in in the origin of uh, conscious human beings um, but that worry evaporated as I began to research and began to understand a little bit about what's happened to life on planet earth from the origin of life three and a half billion years ago or before to the present day and anyone who thinks that there's some kind of linear progression, that evolution drives life from simple single-celled organisms through to complex human beings, really needs to think again about that conclusion. Uh, because the simple fact of the matter is that life on Earth has been dealt savage blows in a sequence of at least five mass extinctions. The, the biggest, most significant happened 252 million years ago and is known as the Great Dying. And as a result of that extinction, we lost 98% of all marine species on planet Earth, 98%, and, and a good proportion of land uh, living organisms as well. Um, the Earth became very inhospitable, um, but life hung on. And as a consequence of the great dying, um, evolutionary biologists understand what happens, is you, you create an empty ecological space. You clear the decks, if you like, and, and you have a, an evolutionary radiation. So the life that is able to cling on, survive through an extinction event, uh, then adapts and radiates. So whatever happens to survive, then has a great space to fill uh, and, and, and you get lots of diversification and development as evolution kicks on again. Now, so that's what happened. 252 million years ago we had the great dying. Um, that then created space for the evolution of, of, of the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs um, were incredibly well adapted to survive on planet Earth until unfortunately the Earth was struck by an asteroid 66 million years ago, which pretty well did for them. And if that hadn't happened, there wouldn't have been an evolutionary radiation for the species that did cling on through that extinction event, which were small mammals. And without that radiation, there would have never been the development of conscious, intelligent human beings. So you have to somehow now take into account that the fact that it's not a linear progression from single-celled organisms through to complex human beings without these peculiar and chance circumstances that led to these mass extinctions. Because without these mass extinctions, uh, life in human form would never have appeared, as far as I can tell.